So we're going to look at a scene with Viola and Orsino, and let's just be clear about what's happening to these characters. The, um, Orsino is the master. Mm -hmm. Viola is a servant. She's dressed as a boy. She's pretending to be a male servant. Where are we in their story? Well, they've been together for three days. Three days. Um, and have struck up a great friendship and have gotten very close. And he has asked Cesario to go and uh, woo Olivia on his behalf. Yeah. Um, and she's attempted to do that unsuccessfully. Um, and in doing so, has discovered that actually Olivia has fallen in love with Cesario. Of course, Viola has started to have feelings for Orsino herself. Yeah. Um, and Orsino has started to have feelings for Cesario. Exactly. So there's all sorts of complicated romantic feelings going along here. Tell me about where you think they're, where their heads are at this moment. Uh, Nick, where, where's Orsino then as he comes into this scene? Well, I think this scene is a turning point in, in their relationship. Yeah. Uh, and I think probably the scene starts off with Orsino pretty focused on Olivia, but interested in Cesario. And then maybe by the end of it, that has shifted somewhat. Right. And Danita, tell me about where, what, what you feel Viola's coming in with. I think she wants to really uh, make it clear to Orsino that you know he needs to put pursuing Olivia to bed. Yes. Um, because that's not that's not going to happen. She knows that it's not. Yeah. Gonna happen. Yeah. No. Um, but as Nick said, you know this is a turning point in the relationship, and I think they are getting very close, and she can't help but sort of allow her feelings to come out a little. It'd be interesting to look at a version where she is trying very hard to be a very good servant um, and she doesn't want to reveal her feelings. She, she's very scared that one false move and he might say, hey, but you're a girl. And maybe where Orsino is also very guarded. Yes, and maintain the focus on Olivia in a way. I yes, think. she's the object of his affection. Make no compare between that love a woman can bear me and that I owe Olivia. Aye, but I know. What dost thou know? Too well what love women to men may owe. In faith they are as true of heart as we. My father had a daughter loved a man. As it might be, perhaps, were I a woman, I should your lordship. <laughs> and what's her history? A blank, my lord. She never told her love. But let concealment like a worm in the bud, feed on her damask cheek. She pined in thought, and with a green and yellow melancholy, she sat like patience on a monument, smiling at grief. Was not this love indeed? <laughs> we men may say more, swear more, but indeed our shows are more than will, for still we prove much in our vows, but little in our love. But died thy sister of her love, my boy. I am all the daughters of my father's house, and all the brothers too. And yet, I know not. Sir, shall I to this lady? Aye. That's the theme. To her in haste. Give her this jewel, say, my love can give no place, bide no denay. Well, I want to know what you thought about that version. What did it do for you? Well, I think it's interesting, but it's not necessarily very, there's not much tension really, because they're both playing disinterested in a way. So I feel yeah. that... Uh, did it feel a bit easy? It felt a bit easy and it felt maybe, you know, if, if it's a scene where two people aren't really engaged, yeah. then, then why are we watching it? I think it's interesting to start off like that, but I think they've got to go somewhere because the next time these two characters meet is at, is at the end, so I think we need to see more of a development in, in that relationship. I think it'd be interesting to see a version where Orsino was more conscious of the fact that um, Cesario is perhaps talking about herself or talking, and when he said, my father had a daughter. Yes. I think he could be more interested in that story. OK, I tell you what, let's do another version, but the complete opposite, because I think it'll be really interesting if they don't cover at all, and Viola is desperate to...
tell Orsino what she really feels. And so she goes out of her way, goes all around the houses trying to find different ways to show him that she's in love with him. And that Orsino is fascinated by this person, this extraordinary right. servant. And so shall we just give that a go and see what that gives us? Great. Excellent. Lovely, thank you. Make no compare between that love a woman can bear me and, and that I owe Olivia. Aye, but I know. What dost thou know? Too well what love women to men may owe. In faith they are as true of heart as we. My father had a daughter loved a man. As it might be, perhaps, were I a woman, I should your lordship. And what's her history? A blank, my lord. She never told her love. But let concealment, like a worm in the bud, feed on her damask cheek. She pined in thought, and with a green and yellow melancholy. She sat like patience on a monument. Smiling at grief. Was not this love indeed? We men may say more, swear more, but indeed our shows are more than will. For still we prove much in our vows, but little in our love. But died thy sister of her love, my boy. I am all the daughters of my father's house. And all the brothers too. And yet, I know not. Sir, shall I to this lady? I. That's the theme. To her in haste, give her this jewel. Say, my love can give no place. Bide no denay. I thought that was interesting, wasn't it? Because it was so clear what they were both mm. really thinking. Mm. It was a love scene between a man and a woman. And in a way, I don't know what you felt, I just sort of thought that I missed a little bit of the tension. Yeah. yeah because absolutely. it was sort of like they'd given the game away. It's got to cost them more, I think, you know. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. got to feel more dangerous. Yes. Otherwise, we lose the stakes completely, I think. Yeah. So feeling like they've got to hold something back is really important. So, yeah, I missed a bit of the first scene, really. Yes, yeah, so there's a bit more sort of yeah, the audience tug of war. No. Yeah. What's going on? The characters don't. Yeah, yes. The audience right. are in full possession of all the facts. Yes. We, we are not. I don't know who Cesare is, no. clearly, and I don't know what your feelings are for me, and, and, and vice versa, I think. So the more we can maintain that, I think the more interesting it is for mm. the audience. Yes. 